Hi, Forbidden Worlds Film Festival in Bristol. I've visited Bristol a number of times. My wife's from there. Um, so uh, you're going to screen Prehistoric Beast followed by Starship Troopers. Prehistoric Beast, in many ways, was uh, um, uh, telling my nail in the coffin, uh, putting a nail in the coffin for dinosaur things until Jurassic Park came along. But uh, in 1955, I saw... Uh, King Kong on television, the 33 um, Schodensack and Cooper production. And uh, I, I, that really kicked off my interest in doing stop motion and also led to kind of being an amateur paleontologist. Um, and so, you know, I, I was really into that stuff and I just, I wanted to kind of put it to bed. And so I made Prehistoric Beasts over the period of the year after Return of the Jedi. And the title, Prehistoric Beast, is uh, a line from King Kong when um, Carl Denham, or Jack Driscoll, is asking uh, Carl Denham after they shot the, the uh, Stegosaurus, what kind of an animal is this? Why it's a uh, dinosaur, Jack, a prehistoric beast. And so that was to me was like encapsulating everything. It was like, okay, no more dinosaurs. And then Jurassic Park came up a few years later. Anyway. Um, yeah, Jurassic Park came up a few years later, and that switched everything over to uh, computer graphics. And then not long after that, Starship Troopers came along, uh, a Paul Verhoeven movie. And you know, it's still amusing to me that those two movies end up standing out having exemplary work. And then everything kind of went into the shitter after that and kind of got a little better. But those two movies really stand out, and why is that? You know, I think I attribute that to, uh, um, like, me and Dennis Muren and, and Craig Hayes and other people that that, that um, spearheaded the projects came from a very practical uh, background, doing like working with real things, models and props and and whatnot. And so we knew what things should look like, and uh, we're able to organize them to for look and then performance, uh, and such. So Troopers was uh, that was uh, that was the last project that I could say I was uh, proud of doing, um, and then it was kind of like the era of uh, auteurs doing you know sci-fi movies kind of dried up and. Uh, yeah, but I, my memory goes, you know, is, is very fond of the crew and particularly Verhoeven. I really enjoyed working with Paul. So I hope you enjoy the show.